So this reading I wanted to do again because it's a very cool reading for having it as a life, you know, because um, there you cannot um, jump to the timestamps. Yeah? You have to watch it from the beginning. So I thought this is a very cool reading that we're going to do and we're going to do mirroring yeah? with you and your sick significant person your soulmate twin flame future spouse whatever you call it and i have twice the same cards from colette baron reed the enchanted map oracle cards <laughs> and the cool thing is i have this new version that's borderless and then we have the older version with a border and you guys know that i also have the mystic monday tarot in um two two times so we can do a very good mirroring to see if you mirror with your significant other or not yeah what's going on so i'm gonna look at your i'm gonna look at your energies yeah what's going on in your life and first you have to see on which side you are on you know sometimes the divine masculine is here and this divine feminine is here but it all can also switch around so please look where you are i also want to clarify the cards with the mini steampunk tarot so that's very cute we're gonna do that so yeah let's do this guys yeah first of all i'm going to get this this energy here and we're going to see in what energy are they in maybe this is your energy maybe this is the energy of your partner i will call this person a so let's see the energy person a is in right now what's the energy person a is in right now so we have slow and steady this is um number 12 number 12 is always the hangman in the tarot yeah so this is a very very passive energy um there's nothing really going on much here with person a let's see where can i put it yeah i put it here i put it there yeah you see it so now i want to get card for the headspace the feeling space and the intentions so what are their thoughts what are person a's thoughts okay the ten of wands yeah so maybe this is your energy maybe this is the energy of your person so we have the ten of wands here what is their feeling space what is their feeling space what are person what is person a feeling oh wow okay oh wow the devil energy and this card fell out so i feel this is um the queen of pentacles so this person could be an earth sign taurus virgo or capricorn okay and the devil card it's a capricorn so this energy i'm feeling here is capricornian energy okay so let's see their intention and the intention card i want to put here so that we can see all the cards what is their intention towards person b this is all towards the connection okay what is pile a's intention towards person b so this is the five of cups energy interesting so we have a ten of wands a devil a five of cups and slow and steady this is what's coming out for person a so before i interpret and get the additional cards i want to look at person b so that we have the cards here okay so what is the energy person b is in what is the energy person b is in okay we have 
solitude. Yeah, very interesting. So we have solitude here for person B. So let's see there. What are they thinking? What is person B thinking towards person A? So we have the three of pentacles. I'm not reading reversals. What is person B feeling in this connection? What is person B feeling? What is going on? Um, the hermit. Yeah, it's interesting. We have here in the feeling space the hermit and here the devil. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> And we have a king of wands energy. So here the energy is coming through as um, very passionate fire energy, you know, um, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. So this person could be a fire sign. And what is their intention? So we have earth sign and fire sign. What is the intention towards person A? What's person B's intention? And wow, look at this. We have here the Five of Cups and here the Seven of Cups. I think it's interesting how the intentions are Cups energy, feelings, you know. And Major Arcana, they have both in their feelings. This is so interesting. So, I also want to get one of these little cards before we're gonna do the reading or keep moving. So I wanna have one card for person A and it says work it out. And I wanna have one card for person B and it says give it time. Yeah, I'm feeling strongly that person B, like this person, I don't know who this is, um, has turned their back on person A, yeah? That's very strong coming through. So it might be you, feminine energy, that you're saying, well, I tried enough, you know, I had enough. Um, you know, this means that the both of you and spirit are working together. That, that's fire energy, yeah? That's fire energy also. Um, even if it says three of pentacles and it's earth energy, I mean, this symbol here is for me the fire energy symbol. So in the mind, you know, here person B in the mind, um, they're very passionate. Yeah, but they're waiting on person B to make a move because they think like person B thinks that it has to be equal. You know, it, it's just not possible when one person like person B is constantly working in the connection. There has to be teamwork, yeah? This is teamwork between the two of you and spirit. There has to be an equal balance and person B is very passionate about person A, yes. But I'm feeling here that they're seeing, they're thinking, well, there's nothing really coming or there has to be an equal balance, yeah? And that's why person A wants this connection. Yeah, they want to work together. They want this passionate um, playing together, but they know it's not the time right now. For some reason, they know that um, this is a creation. Yeah, this, this, this is a creation. But it's a creation out of all the three parts, spirit, the feminine and the masculine. And so they give it time because they know it's it's not right now happening. Even if they want it, even if they are passionate about it, it's not happening. So they go into hermit mode. Yeah, their feelings, they keep to themselves. They're not talking about this. Um, basically, with this hermit energy, they know that this is a spiritual connection. Yeah, the hermit that shows me that they know. And um, but here it's like, you know, 
person B is really turning their back. It's drawing away the energy and letting it go. Yeah, so I'm feeling if you are a divine feminine that's letting it go, that puts themselves into solitude, you know, do you do your own thing, you know, number 13, that's a transformation. Before, maybe you were like this, like the devil energy, you know, you were chasing this connection. But person B noticed that there is transformation needed. They are in solitude. You see this here very much. They don't date anyone. It's just that, um, you know, they're concentrated on their inner self, on their healing. Um, they're not concentrated on this connection. Yeah. And their intention is with the seven of cups, I'm feeling here to do everything else except this connection. <laughs> you know, with the seven of cups, like they have so a lot of opportunities that they want to, um, you know, it's like... Um, I'm feeling here person B wants to give it time and, um, you know, with a seven of cup wants to use other opportunities, you know, to have a deeper insight, to work on themselves. So I'm feeling here um, with the solitude card that person B is completely turning inward, you know, working on their confusion about this connection, working, um, saying as long as this is the seven of cups energy as long as there is this illusion you know here person b feels like this connection might be an illusion so this is also doubt yeah because person b doubts also this connection that's why they're letting go and concentrating on making their own things possible yeah that's what i'm seeing for person b so let's go to person a person a is almost mirroring I want to put this back. Um, it's also mirroring this energy, yeah, but in a way of the Ten of Wands. So they have the feeling or they think that it almost comes in here, you know, because it's the female carrying all the wands. It's not the, um, I'm feeling this is the masculine energy, guys. Feeling strongly that this is the feminine and this is the masculine. Please apply it as it fits. But here this person thinks the feminine has too much burden in this connection. Yeah, The feminine is carrying all the load. The feminine always has to make it happen. The feminine is manifesting it. The feminine does it. If this is the masculine, then they know. And it seems like it because it says work it out. Yeah, They want to work on this connection because they don't want the female to carry all of this. Because here I'm feeling that this hermit energy signalized, you know, in, in, in soul connection, if you go into hermit mode and you let it go and you go into solitude, um, the masculine notices that you guys have a soul bond. Yeah, it's not that they, they don't feel this. So I'm feeling in their thinking space, they're saying, oh my gosh, you know, um, I'm like a geo boogie like slow, nothing is really happening and my feminine has to carry all the load, well, I better get going. You know, I should work it out. I should work it out. And that's when in the um, in their feeling space, the devil is coming in. Yeah, The devil is obsession, thinking a lot. We have here the stairs and the mind. Yeah, the obsessive mind in this card. So, and they're looking here towards the feminine who turned their back in the feeling. So it's like in the feeling space, the feminine turned their back upon this energy, like person B. I don't want to say it because it could be that, you know, you are a female, but you are here in masculine energy. But this is the masculine energy I'm feeling. And this is the feminine energy and the feminine energy turned their back upon the masculine energy. And that's where the obsession hits in. You know, that's where the masculine is really pulling this um, or pushing. Yeah, they're pushing towards, look at this, they're watching, they're looking over and, and, and feeling this bond. Yeah, it's like a magnetic pull that the feminine here does. So their feelings are really heavy. Yeah, devil energy is very attractive. It's like you feel this chain around your neck and um, you, you constantly feel this passion. And, you know, you're almost in this obsessive energy about person B. Yeah. So what are they doing? They want to work it out. But with the five of cups, it seems like um, 
they're disappointed in themselves. And that's why, you know, at the same time, they want to move towards this connection. It's almost as, look at these cards. Person A wants, they have these, um, you know, the chains and they feel this energy pull towards person B. But at the same time, they're disappointed at how the situation is. They're disappointed at themselves that they, that they cannot really make a move or they let everything, you know, over with the feminine. So with this disappointment, that's like almost very heavy energy. So it's like they're very sad. It's like they're depressed about themselves almost so that they even can't make a move. I want to clarify the five of cups. Please clarify the five of cups. And I also want to clarify the seven of cups over there. So the hermit, <laughs> look at this. So the hermit is mirroring from this feeling space from person B, mirroring to their action. Yeah, they feel the hermit and they're disappointed. So they don't do anything because um, you, you see this also in this card. Like they're turning this way too. <laughs> this is like both of them are mirroring like crazy. But if, if both of them are mirroring like this, <laughs> there's nothing happening. Can I see the seven of cups for for person B. Isn't that funny? I mean, it's not funny at all because nothing is happening in this soul connection right now. That's too many cards. Like, what the heck? I cannot work with like six cards. I just want one card. Okay, we have justice and I'm taking it. So two major arcana. Yeah, we have here the hermit and here the justice card. Yeah, justice about... um taking care of themselves, you know, person B is really um, balancing out the scales. We have this balancing out here. Yeah. And that's why they're focused on self-love. They're focused on their own. You know, the seven of cups sometimes is this energy where you fulfill your own wishes, all the ones that you have, you fulfill your own dreams. You don't care about someone else. So this is what I'm feeling here. So person B is like retreating in solitude, giving it time, taking off their energy and taking care of their own wishes. And person A is feeling this. That's why, you know, they have this devilish energy. They want to work it out. What is this here? The emperor. Okay, this fell on here. So I don't know where the emperor came from. Though this is an emperor. It could be Aries also. But yeah, I mean, because they're sitting on their throne like an emperor, they're also not making a move. You know, they have this devil energy. They have this pull towards person B. But because they're reflecting this hermit mode and they're in this disappointment energy, um, they're disappointed at themselves or they're disappointed at the situation and they're sitting on their emperor throne. They're not working it out at the moment. So we have number 12 and number 13. Look at this. And I can tell you which one is more progressed. And this is person B. Person B is more progressed because we, we have the 12 and here we have the 13. So actually the ball is in court of person A to do something. Yeah. And I'm strongly feeling this is the masculine energy. I mean, we have the emperor here. That's a strong masculine energy. So this could also be a female. Yeah. If you are a woman, you could also be in this energy. But it's almost like if you're saying, nah. If they don't want me, nah, I'm not doing anything. No. Nope. And then at the same time, you feel like this devil energy, you know, it's actually very funny. So um, let's see with the cards what they suggest. I'm taking one of those cards. So what is the solution for the universe? Like, what do they advise? Let's see what they advise for person... Um, a universe what are you advising for person a okay we have the passion flower exuberant quietude yeah they are in quietude that's right i mean we have slow and steady and we have here lessons in blood i think i had those two cards also in another reading yeah so um this is about getting over the cycle and be passionate you know use their passion um, yeah, use their passion to move towards this. So person B, uh, person A actually has to make a move. 
So what is the universe advising for person B? What is the universe advising for person B? Okay, we have the a spoonful of sugar, marshmallow. <laughs> so the sweets of life, and we see this. Yeah, person A is, is progressed. Person uh, B, sorry, <laughs> I get... <laughs> I get so confused. Person B is one more card here, spirit. One more advice. Person B is more advanced. They're concentrating on themselves. And it says, get creative. Sc screech all. Maybe all is your spirit animal. Yeah, get creative with sweets. We see this here, you know. Create your own reality. Create your own sweets. Take care of yourself. You're doing a good job. If you are person B, you're doing an excellent job. You, you showed person A in this soul connection that actually the ball is in their court, but they're too emperor-like, you know, they have to get over the cycle of being the emperor that's just sitting there. Yeah, They have to find their passion and they have to find a way to get out of this depressed energy because you took your energy away if you are person B. Because person B took their energy away from person A. Person A is in the state of meh. You know? And they have to get out of this. Because person A here in this case has to make a move. So whoever you are, this is your mirroring reading. I hope that helped you. And um, yeah, I'm saying bye guys.